everyone, welcome to the Final Cut. Mark the Movie Man here. Let's get right into today's film, which is Steakland. And no, it's not about a field of beef or a chain of outback restaurants. No, Steakland is set in a post-apocalyptic world after a vampire outbreak. Yes, vampire, not zombie. And these aren't your twinkly, oh, I love Kristen Seward escaping maw vampires. These are the demon, ugly, vicious feral vampires that I grew up with, okay? So, one, that was nice to see. So, we get the story of Martin, who's after his parents were killed by vampires, is taken under the wing of a character named Mr., played by Nick uh, Damici. And uh, Mr. teaches him the ropes and tries to make him uh, learn the techniques to kill a vampire in order to survive in this post-apocalyptic world. As the two travel on the road across country to try to get to New Haven, which is supposedly a safe haven, if you will, uh, where no vampires are in Canada. And so we see how the events take place during their trip and who they encounter as Martin learns and grows. Because it's part coming-of-age story, part post-apocalyptic film, death Definitely all an interesting tale. Now, this film does have atmosphere, okay? Always keeping kind of the dreariness of a post-apocalyptic world. What I also liked is the little pockets of civilization that tried to survive. Uh, I loved how they ran across these things, and, and each civilization uh, handled this uh, apocalypse a little bit differently, handled outsiders differently. And I loved how they had some variety in there. And they encounter some interesting characters. They pick up a character named uh, Sister. She He's a nun, basically, who was ravaged in the woods, played by Kelly McGillis. And there's all kinds of bad things that happen to this poor woman, but she per perseveres and survives and definitely is an interesting character that uh, you definitely want to see try to make it to the end of the film. There's also another uh, other great characters that they encounter. They encounter a main bad guy, if you will, uh, Michael uh, Cerverus, playing uh, Jebediah, who's the leader of this religious cult, because religious cults have popped up around the world after the post you know, after the apocalypse. And uh, they, he's kind of their nemesis, if you will. And he's scary and creepy, and I loved his villain as well. Though it was a little bit predictable with the villain near the end, what ha would happen, um, that didn't take away from my enjoyment of this film. I loved how it kept the atmosphere and kept the feeling of a threat. Sometimes in these films like this, you never get that feeling of a threat. You, the characters kind of get a little comfortable when you're trying to do this character piece and, and the vampires or whatever creature is not the main focus. Uh, but this one, there's always that feeling of dread and threat and mistrust in an area when you come up to it. it is, are there vampires there or aren't there? So I loved that at bit of it as well. The atmosphere, uh, the dialogue and the writing were handled well. It was no real cheesy, too much dialogue. And the characters, Martin, even though this is a coming-of-age story and we get the story of him being taught methods by Mr., we don't ever get any superhero, oh, Martin really learned how to fight and he's as good as Mr. Events. No, they keep him a little more human and a little more realistic and vulnerable, and I liked that as well. And Mr. played by Nick uh, Damici, uh, I hope if I mispronounce that, I apologize. Uh, I just love this Mr. character. He was great, and I, I would love to see a, a whole string of movies with this uh, character because he was just really great. You know, kind of the hard nose, yet a little bit soft heart to him, yet dark. You know, there's that history there which you're not quite sure on and I just loved that bit. Stakeland was fun, okay? It's not without its faults. Some of the characters make stupid decisions that people make in horror films, okay? Uh, but I liked how they still kept it, even with the introduction of the other characters, really kept the core of the film, the basis of the relationship between Mr. and Martin and Martin's growth. And I liked how they stuck with that even as they brought in other characters. So, uh, you know, overall, this film is solid. Not without its faults, but not enough there to really take away any enjoyment or make you think this film is bad. I think this film is really enjoyable, and uh, anyone who likes a vampire film, post-apocalyptic film, or something slightly different that isn't your zombie film, but has kind of a feel of a zombie film, I watch Stakeland. And that'll about do it for us at the final cut. Till next time, keep that ticket stuff.